the Game Awards 2023 is going to be very rigged, insanely rigged, just like the presidential election. You know how it goes, right? So now let's not waste any more time in trying to see what is going to be on the nominees by viewing all categories. And there you go. And I really don't care who what what is what is the game of the year. I, I haven't been to this website. So I haven't checked nothing. So I'm going to like purposely say that I don't know what is the game of the year game direction and all this. I have not checked it, but I am predicting that there are games that I know in my head that is going to be the game of the year. So let's start from over here to all the way to the top. And it's not exciting, dude. This is this is a this is a like the trash awards 2023 that since there is no even no good games dude it's always a movie type game mixing a movie and a video game together it makes it a movie game simulator and all these garbage indie games all of this is taking over gaming i did not buy an xbox series x or or a playstation 5 what the fuck get out of here S sorry i got a musk i it was a mosquito but seriously I did not pay my hard-earned money for an Xbox Series X or a PS5 for these type of games. No, dude. I'm here just to play high-quality games. But since the, all the talent, all the talent developers back then are just gone. I guess I guess we're stuck with the movie games, simulator games. So let's see what's over here. Best eSport events. Okay, you, I don't even know about this, so I might as well skip it. I don't care. I don't care. Uh, I don't care. Okay, for eSport games. For the game that had to deliver the best overall. What the? That was a mis, mistype. What the hell? Look at it. For the game that has delivered the best overall eSport experience, the players that includes the tournaments, community sport support and content up updates irrespective of genre or platform esport games i'd rather go with counter-strike 2 counter-strike 2 fucking shits on it. all those games dude i swear just watch it it's going to be the e best esport game content creator of the year i don't care i don't subscribe to them most anticipated game and let me tell you why how do you know the game ha is really good <coughs> When you haven't even played it, how do you know it's going to be the the best? 10 out of 10. Trailer just showed up 10 out of 10 immediately. Making all these fake news saying that this game is going to be the best of all time. How do you know that? It... Yeah, you cannot say nothing about it. Yeah, you can't respond. All you're going to say is just basic, simple sentence. It's going to be the greatest because Nintendo sony hitting again with another movie type game and you do not speak about the gameplay and that's it that's the that's the that's not oh my goodness dude that's, that's not how this is how fake gamers talk dude just get on my face so we got final fantasy 7 rebirth final fantasy 7 is all right it's a right game at least it's better than the uh, Better than a turn-based JRPG. Hades 2? I thought there was another Hades. Like a Dragon Infinite. Well, this, this game deserves to be... Deserves to be a most anticipated game. It's gotta be. If it is, then good job to the... Um, the Ryo Gakoto Gu Studios. Because this game deserves to get attention. And... And I have a feeling this is going to be the game of the year. I hope so. Wait. Oh, wait. It's actually... Oh, it's like a Dragon Gaiden. I forgot about that. Hopefully, it's going to be in the game of the year. Hopefully. We'll have to see. Star Wars Outlaws. Uh, I don't I don't even know what this game is. Tekken 8. That Tekken 8 is garbage. This game is going to die already. If it's the most anticipated game, everyone should be talking about it. They should be playing it. But this game... This gotta be anticipated. It's gotta be. Best adaptation. Recognizing outstanding creative work that faithfully and authentically adapt the video game to another entertainment medium. Castle of it. What the hell? I know the Nintendo fanboys are gonna be making the. Um, 
the nominees rigged. They're going to be voting for a Mario movie. Just watch. Just watch. This is going to be the best adaptation. Just watch. Twist the middle. I don't know about that game. But everyone knows Mario and Nintendo, so they're just going to be over voting that. They're going to make another account. They're going to be voting for Mario. Just seriously. Just watch. Best multiplayer for outstanding online multiplayer gameplay and design, including co op and massively ex multiplayer experience, irrespective of game genre or platform. Baldur's Gate, I don't know about this game. I, I haven't checked the gameplay yet. Diablo 4. Hopefully, it's Diablo 4 or. Yeah. Hopefully, Diablo 4. I saw the gameplay of Super Mario Bros. Wonders, and I know they're gonna, I know Nintendo fanboys are going to be overvoting for this. I think uh, um, party animals. I think I think they're gonna be voting for party animals because you got YouTubers like Vanos Gaming, H2 Delirious, and all these copycat YouTubers. They're gonna be playing party animals and they're gonna be over voting for this. They're gonna be either voting for party animals or Super Mario Bros. Wonder, Street Fighter Six. It, to me, to be honest, I think they're gonna be. I think my vote will either be Diablo 4 or Street Fighter 6. If I had to choose two of them, it's gotta be Street Fighter 6 because this game is underrated. Is a the multiplayer is very underrated. I'm still thinking of getting that game. I'm just waiting for it to discount so I so I can just get the game and just call out my friends or fight against uh, other players on the internet. But this one deserves to be the best multiplayer. I just saw the gameplay and it was alright. It's good. But hopefully Diablo 4 Street Fighter 6 will be good. Best eSport racing for the best... Oh, best sports racing for the best traditional and non-traditional sports and racing game. I don't know about Forza Motorsport. I never tried Forza Motorsport, but I saw the gameplay of it. But, but Need for Speed is much better. It better not beat this game, dude. Who, who even wants to play this game? Hot Wheels Unleashed 2. I think this is going to be the best esports since it's like more focused on gameplay. To me, I'd rather vote for esport or... Why is it called like that? What the... Why is it not FIFA 24? He... EA Sport FC 24. I'd rather vote for this since I'm a soccer type guy. I love soccer. Possibly it's not going to be the best sport. <clears throat> best sim strategy. Best game focus on real time or turn based stimulation. Or strategy gameplay a respect of a platform. Why is this game here, dude? This game is dead. Nobody's not gonna talking about this. Why is it here? And even Pikmin 4. Why are these two garbage game here? If I had to choose the sim strategy, I, I guess Fire Emblem and Games is gonna get that, dude. I'm serious about this. This is gonna be a best sim strategy. I had to go with that, but this game is dead. Just a boring, bland strategy game. It's not good, dude. I know this is gonna be. I know this is gonna win. If it if it doesn't win the best sim strategy, then okay, okay, that's worth it. It's worth it, because this game does not deserve to be the best sim strategy. Best family game for the best appropriate for family play, irrespective of genre or platform. <laughs> Disney Illusion Island, the LGBTQ game, garbage, party am animals, garbage, Pikmin 4, garbage, Sonic Stupid Stars, and Super Mario Bros. Wonders. I, to me, it's got to be Super Mario Bros. Wonders because since you, you sit on the couch, you experience the gameplay of Super Mario Bros. Wonders. I saw the gameplay and Nintendo fanboys love it. And, and mostly they're going to be voting for this game. Sonic Superstars, not really, and Pikmin 4, no. They're just looking for action, which is Super Mario Bros. Wonders. That's got to be a best family game. Best fighting game for the best game designed primarily around head-to-head -head combat. 
If I had to choose, let me see, God of Rock? I don't know what the hell this game is. Mortal Kombat 1. I know they're going to be voting for this game. The Mortal Kombat Sexuals, they're going to be voting for this game 100%. No questions asked. They will vote for this game. Mark my words. Is Mortal Kombat 1 garbage? Of course it is. This game is incomplete, filled with microtransaction, incomplete game, and they will be releasing more garbage um, characters, new characters that should have been in the and since day one. So you got the Om, Om, Omni Man, that's what's his name, Omni Man from Invincible. That character is in that game. So who else is going to be on Mortal Kombat One? That Ed Boon is going to surprise all you guys. To pay extra more than seventy dollars. Just wait for the discount, dude. I might get Mortal Kombat 1 if they give me the full edition game. Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. Why make it sequel? What happened to the first game? It's dead or what? Pocket Bravery. I don't know. That game Street Fighter 6. It's mostly they're, mostly they're going to be voting for Mortal Kombat 1 since it shows more entertainment and, and stories that are being shown in the game. This one has a better stories and better multiplayer than the Street Fighter 6, so this has got to be the best fighting game, unfortunately. Best RPG. For the best game designed with rich player character customization and progression, including massively multiplayer experiences. Baldur's Gate, like I said, I don't know about that game. Final Fantasy 16, I think? Because I can't, I can't, I don't understand this, this number, this Roman number. I guess it's 16. I think they're going to be voting for that game. Lies of P, not really. Sea of Stars, I don't know what that game is. Starfield, it better not be Starfield. That game sucked, dude. Incomplete. Bethesda is, is that talent, talentless developers. If I had to choose either one, it's going to be Final Fantasy 16, unfortunately. But I never played that game, so that's my guess. Best Action Avengers. For the best action Avenger game combining combat with traversal and puzzle solving. Uh, if I had to choose, let me see. Alan Wake 2. I never played that game. Marvel Spider Man 2. I know people are going to be voting like crazy on Marvel Spider Man 2. You got all these Marvel fanboys, Sony fanboys. They will be voting this game like crazy. Resident Evil 4, I never I, I was never into that series before, so I don't know about the gameplay, I don't know about absolutely nothing. Star Wars Jedi Survival, I think this is gonna, I think it's gonna either be this or Spider-Man 2, but mostly the Spider-Man Marvel fanboys are gonna be rigged, are gonna be making a vote rigged to make this the best action adventure. Or Legend of Zelda Tier 3, they came, them, that game is boring. I think it's either gonna be these two. If I had to choose one, then I'd rather, I'd rather choose none of them. Nah, those games suck, dude. If this got to be a best action adventure, you need some help, dude. It's so boring, dude. Marvel Spider-Man 2 will make up for the Tears of the Kingdom action adventures. Just just trust me on this. You'll, ex you'll have more experience and fun. And leveling up your character more than this. You just go and um, um, around the world. Hack and slash and all these easy monsters that don't require skills. Best action games. For the best game in the action genre will focus primarily on combat. Arcade style beat em up type. Arm. Armor Core 6 fires a Rupee Con. I don't know about this game. But it's made by Front Software. You know what's from software developers make. Soulborn games. And then Dead Island 2. That game that game that game that game flopped. Who's still talking about this? I almost forgot about this game. I made a video exposing it. And I guess nobody's talking about that anymore. So where are the people that are disliking my videos and saying some dumb comment section and in, in, in my Dead Island 2 videos? Where are they at? I guess gone. They're one-time visitors. Ghost Runner 2, Hi-Fi Rush, Remnant 2. I don't know about these two. Um, I don't know about these three games. But I ha if I had to choose either of those, I had to go with Ghost Runner 2. I saw the gameplay. It was amazing. 
I'm thinking of beginning that game and getting into that series, but I don't know. But I have to go with Ghost Runner too. Best VR AR? No, I don't give a fuck. Best mobile game? I don't give a fuck. Best debut indie game? I don't give a fuck. Best in independent game? I don't care. Best community sports? Recognizing the game for outstanding community support, transparency, and responsiveness, inclusive of social media activity and game updates, patches. Is this what you guys support? If I had to choose either of those games, it's got to be Destiny 2. And all these games that are all garbage. Who even still plays No Man's Sky? No way, dude. Who still plays that PS4, Xbox One generation game? There is no way, dude. Best ongoing game awarded the game for outstanding development on ongoing content that evolves the player experiences over time. Apex Legends garbage, Cyberpunk garbage. There's no way it's gonna be. There is no way it gotta be Cyberpunk. No way. Final Fantasy 16, I think. Fortnite Genshin Impact. It's gotta be Genshin Impact since a lot of people will be over voting for that game more than Fortnite. Just watch Genshin Impact will be the best ongoing game. Games for Impact for the thought-provoking game with a pro social media, social media meaning or message. A space for the uh, the hell I don't care. Innovation and accessibility. Recognizing software and or hardware that is pushing the medium forward by adding features, technologies, and content to help games be played and enjoyed by even wider audiences. There's Diablo 4, Forza, High Rush, Marvel Spider-Man 2, Mortal Kombat 1, Street Fighter 6. It's got to be Mortal Kombat 1. Because this game is popular and it's, and all these Mortal Kombat fanboys love it. There's got to be innovation right here. If it's not, then it's got to be... Yeah, I think, I think 100% Mortal Kombat 1. Best performance, I don't care. Garbage people. Best audio design, recognizing the best in game audio and sound design. Alan Wake, Dead Space, Hi Fi Rush. They're going to be voting for Spider Man 2, Resident Evil 4. I don't, I don't even know those games. I know I spoke, I exposed this game. And. Yeah. They better not, they better not be the best audio design. There's no way. But everyone will go for Spider-Man 2. Just watch. Best score in music for outstanding music, inclusive of scores, original songs, and or licensed soundtrack. Alan Wake, Baldur's, Final Fantasy 16. I think it's got to be Final Fantasy 16. Hi-Fi Rush, audio director Shuichi Kopori, and Zelda. There's there there is no way, dude. No, this is impossible. The OST in Legend Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is terrible, dude. Boring, building up estrogen in your body, dude. I'm serious. If you listen to that OST in Tears of the Kingdom, I'd rather go with Final Fantasy 16. Best art direction for outstanding creative and or technical achievement in artistic design and animation. Why is it Alan? Why is this game showing up all the time? Hi Fi Rush. Where's Where's uh, Like a Dragon Guide in that? Liza P. Super Mario Bros. Wonder Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Tears of the Kingdom is just the same as Breath of the Wild. Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I, th I think it's gotta be Mario Bros. Wonder, since you see the different faces in the animation. It's not the same as back then. I think it's gotta be Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Best narrative for outstanding storytelling in narrative development in the game. And there we go. This is why we get movie games, guys. Alan Wake. Oh, why is it always here, dude? What is so popular about this incomplete game? Baldur's Gate. I don't know about that game. Like I said. Cyberpunk, I don't know about. Oh, well, that game is garbage. It better not be best narrative. Final Fantasy 16, Marvel Spider Man 2. It's got to be Marvel Spider Man 2. A lot of fanboys are going to be overvoting for this. Just seriously, it's going to make the, the voting way too rigged. Best game of direction 
Award for Outstanding Creative Vision and Innovation in Game Direction and Design. The, when I when I go to previous 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 few all categories, where is like a Dragon Guide and where is all these underrated games, dude? Why is it not right here, dude? Why, dude? All of that should have been shown there. Let me see. Creative vision and innovation. If I had to choose one, it's got to be... Hmm. Hmm. I probably might have to go with Mario Bros. Wonders. I know the fanboys are going to be over voting for this. Or the Sony fanboys will be doing this. Since Spider-Man 2 is just the same. Vision and innovation. But Mario Bros. Wonder, it's got to be the best game direction. Or this, since it's the game direction. Game of the year. Are you serious? Wow. Recognizing a game that delivers the absolute best. The best experience across all creative and technical feel there is no way it's not going to be Alan Wake 2 there is no way it's not going to be Baldur's Gate 3 I know people are going to be voting for this game I hope I really hope this game wins the game of the year other than Mario Bros. Wonder Zelda Tears of the Kingdom to piss off that this so-called soul-born fanboy, a PlayStation 5 fanboy, who does not want this game to be the game of the year, but wants Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, the Zelda sexual who has been live streaming for like over two or three hours not knowing what to do in the game, but getting killed by these monsters and complaining to his supporters. There is no way this game and that game will not be the game of the year. It's got to be 100% Marvel Spider-Man 2. If Marvel Spider-Man 1 is the game of the year, then Marvel Spider-Man 2 will be the game of the year. Just mark my words. It will be a, the be, the game of the year and it will show the, the crazy experience of this game more than Mario Bros. Wonders and tell Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I hope this pissed off this soul-born PlayStation 5 and Zelda fanboy. Just watch. And there you have it. Just watch. Where's where's like a Dragon Gaiden? Where's that game at? That should have been game of the year. Well, I guess here we go. So my vote has got to be Marvel Spider-Man 2. Just mark my words. It's going to be game of the year. Just watch. Terrible game of words 2023.